What's up guys, you are on the air and off the books with Beth Ann and Samantha. And today we are going to be talking about The Luminaries. And this is a uh, book by Susan Dinard, uh, maybe Dinard, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. Um, but this book was really, really good. Um, I really, really liked it. I give it a four out of five. Four out of five. Yes. And I haven't finished it. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> this was a young adult. I would categorize it as a young adult kind of sci-fi thriller. Uh, yeah. Paranormal science fiction. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So it's about this girl named, um, her name is Winnie Wednesday, and they live in the town of Hemlock Falls, and... So they have each of their little um, sections of Hemlock Falls are named after the days of the week. So you got the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, etc. So Winnie Wednesday is a Wednesday. And so what that means is that every, I think, Wednesdays. Wednesday night. Wednesday night, they go out and hunt what is called. Nightmares. Nightmares, which are like these creatures that are in the woods. There's werewolves there's these things called whisperers yeah and it's like everything you could possibly think of like like harpies I yeah think. like any kind of mythological creature yeah. or like um cryptid kind of situation all of that yes. they go and they hunt these things yes um, and that's what the luminaries do that's who all the like the days of the week people are or the, yeah. they're called they're part of this group called the luminaries yes so um Basically, this is about um, Winnie, and it kind of goes into um, her friend Jay, which is his last name is Friday. He's a Friday. Um, so, long time ago, about four years ago, Winnie's dad, he ended up being a Diana, which is like a witch of some sort. Yes, I think. and they're like the arch nemesis of the luminaries. Yes. So they find out that their dad is a Diana, which puts shame onto the entire family. And so Winnie and her family basically get shunned and like thrown out of the community. Um and so her they're mom almost like reduced to like poverty right. like, slave situation. Yeah. And like they have to pick up regular jobs. Yep. They don't get to be luminaries anymore. Her mom like, got her lead hunter position taken away. Yeah. And so what Winnie is doing secretly behind everybody's back is that she is preparing for the luminary trials, I think it's called. Yes. The luminary trials. And so that is where she you go through three different stages, and if you pass the third stage, you become a hunter. Right. So she is trying to become a hunter, just like her mom. And so when she's out preparing for her trials, um, she sees this, like, crazy, like, creature that she can't explain. Mm -hmm. um, and then... I mean, basically, it's like she's, they're trying to figure out what this creature is, and everybody thinks it's a werewolf, but she's trying to tell people, like, no, this is bigger than that. It's nothing we've ever seen before. <coughs> and what she calls it is, it, she calls it a whisperer, which I don't know if there, I don't, I didn't really understand if there were whisperers that already existed, and if this yeah. was, like, um just like a giant whisperer so the monsters come from these gods who when they fall asleep in these sections of the world they fall asleep and then their dreams come to life yes. so they have these nightmares and they like materialize in the real world yes and they are a threat to humanity so the luminaries contain these monsters in these yes. forests that these gods sleep in so that they don't go and murder people. And then Winnie's job as like this being thrown out of the pack essentially um, is to clean up the dead bodies. Yeah, she's like, the corpse corpse cleaner. Yeah, she goes through and she'll pick up all the bodies. And this is how she's secretly learning like the signs of like what it, each thing is that attacks and right. stuff like that. So, um, And then also to explain the Dianas are the arch nemesis because they want to use the god's dreams and the magic of the nightmares yes. to like according to the luminaries to destroy humanity as they know it right um and so her dad ended up being this really crazy 
like spied for the Dianas, and that's how everything went down. And then he disappeared and left them. Like yes. he just yeeted himself out of the situation. He was just like, bye. Yes, which, um, okay, so here on out are probably going to be a little spoilery. Um, probably actually a lot of spoilers. So if this sounds like a book that you want to read, I would stop here. Um, if you've read What We Harvest, if you've read um, Small Favors by Aaron Craig, I would say yeah. these are really similar. The Call by Peter O'Gillian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are, because it has to do with monsters and, like, oh, some sort um, of, like, who else? What other book series hunts monsters too? I can't remember. I don't know. It's like it's kind of like very, Hunger Games ish, but not, not so really. much like that. Yeah, like um, if you've read um, oh shoot, Libra Bray, the uh, Diviners, but like without this like superpowers, but they go and they hunt monsters together, essentially like threats to humanity and yeah. stuff like that, and like. This is very much along the lines of paranormal fiction or science right. fiction, or and I, you can, I think you can kind of tell this is a little young adult because yes. of like the relationships that she has with Jay. Very, very slow coming of age. Yes, there is romance, but it's like very nothing is happening like enough. that you think. Um, nothing really happens at all. Yeah, and this is a Yet. duology, we found out. And I can't remember when the second book is coming out. It's coming out in November. Yes, that's right. Um, and I am going to finish this book because I really do like it. So far, I really love it. Because I love the idea of the creatures coming from the nightmares of gods. And I love the... Because it's, it's something that I've never really... It's a theme that we see all the time in young adult fiction. But it's something that she's done that is different than that. Like, she's taken right. that and she's made it more. Mm-hmm. Um. And I love the idea of, like, the days of the week being the last names of the... Like, there's just so many yeah. elements to it that work really, really well. So I'm hoping that this will also be a four or five out of five stars for me once I'm finished. I think the only thing that I want is... I I think the book was too short. Like, there wasn't enough explanation about everything, and it ended very abruptly. Probably so she can go into the second book. Probably, yeah. probably what happened was is that she had it all written. Yeah. Because when did the luminaries come out? Not too long ago, yeah, right? Yeah, no, it came out in, let's see. Um, I threw a curveball, my bad. It came out on November 1st of 2022. So, yeah, not too long ago. Yeah, so I bet what happened is is that she wrote the whole thing together. Yeah. And then it was so long that she chopped it it in half. Yeah. Because if it's just going to be a duology and that's it, there's probably going to be so much crazy stuff immediately in the second book. And the covers are fantastic. Yeah, even the second book cover is really pretty. And so what will happen probably is that when the um, second book comes out... Samantha or I will read it. Most likely Samantha will review it because I'm slow. Um, and we'll put it on the blog as a review on the blog as yeah. a continuation of this. We probably won't do a podcast on it. So don't forget another shameless plug here. <laughs> yeah. That we have a blog. And if you go to khcpl.org forward slash podcast, then you can get on and see everything that we're reading right now or watching. And see reviews on those things. So you can get some extra. And those are non-spoilery reviews. Yes. So you can get on there, see what we think about certain things, and pick up more books. Because we, believe it or not, I do read things yeah. on the side, even though I'm slow as molasses. So um, keep that in mind because there might be something on there that you really love. And this also get, lets us showcase our own personal favorites in reading. Because also, believe it or not, Samantha and I don't read the same things. No, we um, do not. We agree on books for the podcast, and that's about as far as our likes go, which is fine. Yes. You are your own reader. And this way you can see, like, the difference in our reading. I think that's really cool. Yeah. So, and you'll probably see Digital Ben on there reviewing um, movies and A.V. Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> I love their titles. Yes. We need, we, need, uh, we need cool titles. We do. What could yeah. we be? We'll have to think on that. Yeah cool name tags nicknames but yeah i hope um in the second book i'm hoping so the the first book yes keep going left off at kind of like a big cliffhanger yeah i'm gonna spoil it a little bit that's why i'm gonna spoil it all of it i'll finish it i'm listening Um, to it as an audio it's available on libby as an audio and ebook so a little through the book she finds a um her brother gives her a locket and this locket ends up being her dad's. Mm. 
And so um, she starts finding clues that her dad, she finds a clue in an envelope that her dad has written her for her birthday, that, but her mom has never given her any of his, her birthday cards from her dad. Oh. So she finds a clue in the envelope. And so she goes and follows the clue, leads her to like a library or something, and then it ends up, she ends up following through with these clues, and it says, she figures out that her dad's trying to tell her, I was framed. Mm, okay, so this was my thought. Let me, so I was thinking that her dad was either like a Diana and that the Dianas are actually what the luminaries made them out to be. Yeah. Like they're actually trying to help save the world and not be like these evil people. Or like that he was, um, like he didn't start out that way or like he started <laughs> out as a Diana and had to go ahead and go through with what he agreed and then he actually wanted to or be Or he like, was undercover. Right. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like, there's, I was like, there's got to be some way that her dad isn't the bad guy that he says. Yeah. Everybody says that he is. And that there's, like, got to be some redemption there. Mm-hmm. Um, because, and I also think, too, that obviously she's going to become a luminary. Right. I mean, that's my assumption from reading it. Because, like, that, that, you could spoil it because I am going to finish it. But... She's got to because yeah. that would be super weird if she went through all this stuff and like, I'm sorry. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you just still can't do this. This probably like, isn't going to happen in the book, but I'm like really afraid that like, because they really don't know who the, like, the werewolf is. And I guess the werewolf could be like anybody among them. Oh, I'm you think it's Jay? really scared that it's going to be Jay. It's going to be like a whole Wednesday Adam situation where I she falls in love with this guy? Of, I kind of think it might be Aunt Rachel. Oh, she's a jerk. Yeah. And then the twins. Are they twins or sisters? They are twins. Yes. And the, the fact that they give her the biker jacket. And like, yeah. Um, because they're her, they're Wednesdays too, right? Yes. Yes. And they're really awesome to her. I still, I think, I hope that they stay yeah. good to her throughout the book. Yeah. Um, and like, I also love the dynamic between Jay and then the other popular girl and how they used to be like best friends and they were the most yes. popular people. And then, like, when this happened with her dad, like, she fell away, and they, the one ignores her completely, and then Jay just decides, like, he's going to, like, <laughs> dip out of everything and just be this bad boy or whatever. Yeah. And I'm really curious to see if, like, they explain Jay's background, why he decides that he's just going to be, like, no thank you to everything and peace out. Yeah. Because he's, like, the youngest person ever to become a luminary, right? Right. So... Yeah, no. I'm very like, curious to see what happens. I pict- when I was reading this, I pictured it like a um, a small favor situation where they're in like this secluded mm, town. Yeah. Um, it's like closed off to like the rest of humanity, and there's the luminaries are like all over the world. Like there's like right, yeah, China luminaries, um, UK luminaries. Yeah. There's so. different sects of them everywhere because there's gods in each like section of certain. And they're in the U.S., right? Yes. yes. Um, so they're the luminaries for the U.S. Yes. So I thought that was cool. Um, I I don't know. I hope that there's... I hope that the relationship in book two continues. I'm sure it will, but... I think my thing is I just want to know if, like, he betrays her. There's got to be somebody... Something's behind this, like, crazy yeah. whisperer monster. Yeah. There's got to be some sort of, like, somebody inside the luminaries, like, betraying... And I think oh, it's, I, agree. I, I bet it's Aunt Rachel. I bet it's Aunt Rachel. Like, she framed her own family so that she would yeah, take a fall. And yeah. she's, like, lead hunter now. And Aunt Rachel, yeah, because she wanted her mom's job. Bet. I, yeah. And she's sketchy as heck because on, she's rude. on um, Winnie's last trial, her trial was Aunt Rachel sent Erica into the woods during the night to see if Winnie would follow. And the trial was for both of them to see if Erica would be loyal because the Wednesday's thing is loyalty. So they said they were trying to see if Erica would be loyal and go into the woods and if um, Winnie would be loyal and go after her. Of course she would. It's her family. Aunt Rachel is giving me some vibes Sketch that she might vibes. be a werewolf or something, but something I don't know. Crazy. But 
And it's so interesting, too, that all the monsters are different, have different levels of, like, consciousness, have different yeah. levels of, like, like the way that they are. And I love, too, that they don't just stop at, like, one monster. Like, these gods can dream up all these crazy things. And yeah. I like a little bit of mystery in it. It's very good. Yeah, so I liked far, it. So far, I really, really like it. And I'm, and I'm far enough in to know whether or not it's going to be like, okay, this is not for me. Like, Yeah. I think my only complaint was the really fast ending like I feel like it needed to be a 600 page book and not a 300 I bet it was supposed to be yeah I bet that's why it's coming out like back to back because usually you have to wait a hundred years for a book to come out yeah (coughs) Brandon Sanderson Sarah J Mass like come on man (laughs) yeah so you you guys will probably see us read that and review it um towards the end of the year so yes look for that and I would say end of November, December, because I I I want to pick it up as soon as it comes out and try to get through it. Um, there's so many things that we're reviewing. I'm yeah got like two book two arcs that I should have asked for that I'm getting ready to review on the blog and then online for before they release. Um, look for God Killer and Starlings. I think Samantha's also going to review Starlings. We'll yes, kind of. It'd be interesting for us to both post a blog about Starlings because we both have it. Yeah. See what we both think about it. I think we should definitely do that. Um, so look for those coming out. Yes. Um, and then what's coming up next? Next, um, ne- not next week, but our next episode we have Anne Freistat, um, who's the author of What We Harvest. And yes. This book is similar to um, The Luminaries, so... And we really, really liked What We Harvest. And this is Anne Freistat's debut book. Yes. Um, and she really knocked it out of the park. And I yeah. gave that. That's definitely like a five out of five for me. It yes. was fantastic. She did an amazing job. And it's a really good take on um, a zombie situation. Yes. And if you don't like zombies, but you're open to the idea of trying something different, this is that. Yes. It is, And it's so much more than zombies. Like, it is so intertwined and deep and, like, family, like drama remind me of like a YA Walking Dead situation but different and better yes like it it's so so very 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 good and it's like an infection situation and like it also eats away the animals and the crops and like you have to pick this book up before you get to Anne Frey set um yes because it's one of the better reads we've read last year Yes, and then Wait, the next. Read it this year or last year, we read it this year. Oh, that's right, that's right. And then the episode after that is get to know your podcasters, and we're going to be interviewed by Digital Ben. Yes, so, so he's going to ask us questions. We have no idea what he's going to be asking us. I made him in charge of coming up with Samantha the questions. Samantha roped so. him into interviewing us. He agreed. We conned him into it, and he said yes. So poor Ben. You guys will have to join in and listen to that one because I'm sure it's going to be. He gets sick of uh, who knows what he's gonna ask us, you know? So, all right, well, pick up the luminaries. We have it on Libby, I believe. Yes, ebook and audiobook. Yes, and then we have a physical copy um, in the library. So come in, check it out, tell us what you think. You can email us at offthebooks at khcpl.org with your suggestions, and, your recommendations, yes. thoughts, gripes, complaints. And then be sure to tune in to our um, blogs as well, um, which is on khcpl.org forward slash podcast yes so watch those those will be coming out periodically weekly we're trying to do them uh, um, one each a week um, or every other week depending on how fast we get things read we've been pretty consistent so far yes. um, and there are also movie and tv show reviews on there as well so if you're looking for things to watch things to read um, and you like romance or you like everything's on there actually because yeah. we both read pretty well the spectrum so yeah or if you want to come in and ask us in person hey what we're should we read we're always upstairs we will give you all of the books oh yeah so come in check, check out, out books, books and then have a great rest of your week yeah bye bye